Welcome back. Uh, we're going to have another showdown this week with uh, Wichita High and Ryder, and they're both playing Amarillo teams. Yeah. Uh, Wichita High goes and plays Amarillo Tascosa, which was in a shootout last week. And Amarillo and Ryder maybe hadn't quite been the drama of the Cooper Ryder series, but it's been pretty close, and they went double overtime last year. Um, what, are, what are your thoughts? You're going to see Old High and Tascosa. But anytime you play an, an Amarillo team, particularly Amarillo High or Amarillo Tascosa, you're going to get a very good coach team and a tough, a gritty team. Both of those teams run the traditional triple option type of offenses. They're very physical football teams. And like I said, I, I like the coaching for, for both of those. Uh, Tascosa is coached by Ken Plunk, and, and you know he's actually got some Midland ties, so I'm a bit familiar with Coach Plunk. And then uh, Mel Maxfield's been the coach at Emerald High for a long time, and he's got his system in place. They know what they're doing, and they just get after it. Yeah, they're still old school. <laughs> very yeah. much. And uh, I, I see uh, them. they ran the ball. All, all the time last week, 393 yards, didn't complete a pass. I think they tried five of them. Mm -hmm. That rider's used to that. Yep. They will make you make tackles, and they will make you read them. Uh, and it, you know, if you're if you're over committing, they'll run where you're not. They'll wear you down in a hurry too. That's that's their whole game plan is just wear you down. And then late in the game, there they are. They're hanging around in it, and then they're going to bust that big play and, and and somehow find a way to beat you. So what do you see the uh, rider has to do? that they're wanting to improve on? Well, you always want, whenever you play against these triple option teams, you always want to jump up early, I think is kind of the feeling, because, well, they don't throw the ball well, so it's not going to be easy for them to come back. Riders got to be able to do that. and They had some ch chances to kind of get up early. They did score the 21 points in the first half against, against Cooper, and then it went stagnant. They didn't keep piling on. I think against Amarillo High, they got to get up early, and they got to keep going. They can't stop on offense. It is a test for your secondary also, though. Yes, it is. That. Riders had that over the years where they run at you, you know, 11 plays in a row. Well, then that one play action that they slip Mm -hmm. A fullback are tied in behind you. There it is. Um, there you've now given up a six-point play um, because you were trying to help with the run game. So that it's a test for all 11 guys, even though they're really not testing you time after time with routes. Yeah. Uh, I I think I think Ryder probably will try to just diversify a little bit more on offense. Try to establish weapons other than. Then, uh, and he's going to have some. Yeah, he's going to have some of these guys that were hurt and out last week. He said those guys will be back this week, so they're going to have a bit more options on offense. When we come right back, we'll look at the Coyotes and what they have to do on the road to go to two and zero. Oh. 